Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 3DS review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Sonic Generations, which if you've never played it before, it is Sonic game. Um, I said in my Sonic Generations PC review that I will be doing the 3DS one, but then because of finding some things out about the game, I didn't buy it right away, and it's been this long later that I bought it and decided to review it, so I apologise for anyone who was really looking forward to it and has waited pretty much a year to actually see this vid. Um, at the start though, on the bottom screen, you've got play game, versus mode, missions, time attack, your collection of things that you've unlocked, and options. The options menu is, well, it's quite simply, you can set up your street pass, you can view your profile card, you can show help, you can delete your data. Um, mission mode, there's 100 missions, and you can unlock them through playing through the game. You can unlock them by playing, well, not playing, but uh, getting straight pass pings. You can unlock them by spending your play coins. And they range from different things. I don't really have all of them unlocked, but it's probably because I don't really find the want or will to ever play them. It's just not something for me, personally. I mean, for example, you've got this one here, Die Hard, Clear Green Hill without losing a life, and you've only got 45 seconds. This one, Grab Time Items and Clear Green Hill in time. You've got uh, this one here, which is Defeat 10 Enemies in Green Hill Act 2, and you've got a minute to do it. Um, time Attack is pretty self-explanatory. Versus Mode is a race mode for two people, but I've honestly not played it because I've got no one to really play it with. Uh, so that's pretty much that then. Um, at the bottom screen you can see though the stages and I've not uh, went onto a cartridge with anything really unlocked. Not to, uh, well, spoil anything by showing anything off because there is obviously two different modes of Sonic and people might want to see how, well for example, Mushroom Hill here. People might not want to see how Mushroom Hill looks on new Sonic to old Sonic. They might want to experience that for themselves. So I'll stick to Green Hill and Casino Night because it's, uh, well, the first two missions in the game. You've got Classic Sonic though on the left and then you've got regular Sonic, 3D Sonic type thing. Then you've got the Special Stage. The Special Stage I'm actually going to start with first. Mainly, uh, see that I've shown it off. Personally, I think it's beyond awful. Um... I think someone said to me that it was actually very similar to the special stages in Sonic Heroes or something, and I don't know, I didn't play it. All I know is, you've got 1 minute 30 to chase after the Emerald, and it's quite simple. You get those balls there, and you can push and hold to do a boost, and that's literally all you do for the entire thing. Collecting the balls, making sure you get enough of them to make sure it boosts long enough to get to the gem, and it's just boring and not something at all that I personally enjoy. It's annoying that that's how you get the seven kiosk emeralds but it's one of those things some people might like it so you never know uh anyway i'm going to show off classic sonic green hill and then regular sonic green hill and if i've got the time i will cut into casino hill afterwards as i say sorry casino night even but basically classic sonic is how you'd expect it plays just like a classic sonic game um it is classic Sonic. He has no homing attack. He has no boost attack. It's regular side scrolling 2D. Uh, you collect rings. You get hit. You lose rings. So you collect more rings. Because otherwise, if you get hit again, you die. You get to the end. You do it all over again for all of the classic Sonic stages. You then get some bosses as well um, throughout the game. There's seven stages in all and seven bosses. And each stage has a regular and a classic Sonic. But uh, that's pretty much all I can say about Classic Sonic and pretty much all I can show off. I mean, thankfully I'm at the end of the level though, but gameplay-wise, it's fantastic. I think it plays really great. Uh, Music-wise, it sounds great, and graphically, I quite like how it looks. Regular Sonic, however, or New Sonic, or whatever you want to call them, might as well be Classic Sonic on the 3DS version. Uh, because there's very few sections where it looks like you're playing a three-dimensional Sonic game. And... It's just one of those things, they obviously did that because of hardware limitations I'd imagine, being able to fit two engines on the same game, but it does sometimes feel like, why did the bother even doing a 3DS version, because it's that samey in places. Now don't get me wrong, I prefer that, because I've always preferred classic Sonic to uh, newer Sonic games, so I'm quite happy with that, but I imagine, well, I don't just imagine, I know there's a lot of people out there who were very disappointed with it, and basically said that they wish they hadn't bought it, and it's a bit of a shame, because I still think it does play well. It's... Uh, 
and it basically takes classic Sonic and gives him that boost ability which means that Sonic becomes even faster but it also gives him the homing attack ability which I've always hated however on Sonic Generations on the PC and on this it doesn't really screw you over that much I think it works a hell of a lot better um, I haven't really shown the bottom screen during gameplay, but that's because that's it. I mean, that really is it. What else can you say about it? You get the start line, you get the goal line, you'll be able to tell how far you are through a level. You've got your life limit. That's the bottom screen in a nutshell, really. Uh, so that's pretty much all I can say about that. Anyway, on to what is probably going to be awful footage of me dying like mad, because just like I did in the PC version, I'm going to mention what stages you actually get although unfortunately i'm gonna to have to set it up after doing this jumping section because otherwise it would just be me standing there in a corner so the stages you get for the 3ds version are green hill casino night mushroom hill emerald coast radical highway water palace and tropical resort um so other than green hill and i apologize it looks like i've actually been standing there anyway even with doing that but uh, other than green hill it therefore means that you're getting totally different stages to the pc version it's that if i'd reviewed this when it first came out i would have actually said straight away that uh, hopefully these stages will be released as dlc on the pc version so that you can play the full thing on the pc but seeing as it's now been a year those stages were never released on the pc version as dlc uh, so it is a huge shame really um at the end of the stage you get ranked obviously i got d there because i stood around mainly showing you the bottom screen for however many seconds uh but the ranking also goes on rings and things like that and uh well there's not really much left i can actually say about the game uh considering i'd heard quite a few bad things about it i was pleasantly surprised i think it does play well and seeing as you can get it for around about a tenner now in a hell of a lot of seals uh i think it's definitely worth a pick up if you are a, even if you're only a little bit of a sonic fan but especially if you're a huge sonic fan but maybe one who'd been put off by the review scores or by what your friends had heard i think for a tenner you can do much much worse so there we go then that's been the review i hope you found it helpful i don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion so instead i'll leave you to make your own mind up so thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212 signing off.